Olivia Stewart. I'm a Balanced Body Master Instructor. Um, I'm here in my home studio in Charlotte, North Carolina. And today we're going to do a little arc workout. Uh, so go ahead and grab your arc. We're going to start out by putting our sit bones right at the lip of that arc. Find a comfortable place for those feet and for your knees. We're going to reach the arms forward in space and I want you to find an even weight on both sides of the sit bones. From here, we'll take a nice deep breath in, and on your exhale, we're gonna pull the navel back and reach the fingertips forward. Big exhale here, and then you'll inhale and sit up nice and tall. And then again, navel pulls back, arms reach forward like there's laser beams reaching out of those fingertips. Big inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then again, exhale, pulling that navel back. From here, we're gonna let the navel win. We're gonna continue to roll back, totally fine if those sit bones rock off of that lip. We're gonna continue to arch all the way over that barrel. Big stretch here. Bend the elbows, open up that chest. Chin to chest, we're gonna roll it back up. And then again, sitting up nice and tall, rolling back one bone at a time, like you're massaging your spine into the barrel. Big reach up overhead. Big good morning stretch. Chin to chest and roll it back up. We'll do that one more time, rounding down. From here, go ahead and straighten your legs, push down into your feet, lift your pelvis up. Reach, 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 reach. Maybe we keep the elbows straight here as we circle the arms. Chin to chest and roll it back up, sitting up tall. From here, I'm gonna have you roll down. We're gonna sneak the sit bones forward here so we find a nice comfortable place for our lower back. And I'm gonna have you hug your shins into the chest. We're gonna do a little series of five here. So go ahead and grab hold of your right leg. We'll pull that thigh in close and we're gonna switch the legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Hug both shins into the chest here. Nice rounded position. You're gonna reach the fingertips back, toes out away from you, circle the arms and hug it back in. We'll just do four of these. Two more, last one, legs go straight next. Grab hold of that ankle, knee, thigh, whatever you can reach. Keep that navel pulling down, we switch the legs. Two, three, four, four more. Last one, we'll take the fingertips, reach them forward here, legs lower down. Legs lift back up. We're checking in with that lower back that nothing is changing as the legs are lowering down. And back up. This is your last one. Down. And back up. Whew. Getting the abdominals nice and warm. I'm going to have you all sit with your butt inside of that well. Our ribs come down onto that arc and we're going to reach the top arm up. Go ahead and grab that wrist. Give it a big stretch. Reach the toes long. Breathe into that top lung. One more deep breath. And then from here, we're going to stack everything up. Go ahead and take the back of the head here. Lift your right leg up and flex the foot. Ribs are nice and soft in the front. We're gonna send that leg forward, flexing the foot, and send the leg back, pointing through the toes. Send the leg forward, and reach the toes back. We're gonna do just three more here because we don't have that much time. But I want you to check in with what's going on with that pelvis here. As the leg goes forward, we're making sure that the pelvis isn't starting to tuck under. We want to really focus on staying in neutral here. We'll do one more. And we're going to keep that leg back in hip extension here. Flex your foot, lower the foot down to the ground, and then lift the leg back up at the ceiling. It's not going to be terribly high here because I want to avoid turning out the leg. Keep it in parallel. Four and five. Let's do five more. Last four, so we're getting those abductors nice and warmed up. One more, keep the leg lifted up, little lifts up to the ceiling, little pulses. Three, four, and five, last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, that glute should be nice and warm. Go ahead and put your butt back on top of that lip. Take that ankle, cross it over the knee just for a moment here, just to stretch it out, you can play with sort of manipulating that thigh, getting that glute stretched out. We're gonna try and keep this nice and active here. I like to keep active stretching only in the middle of my workout. Feels good, we'll shake it out, and we're gonna regroup to do the other side here. So I'm just gonna whip my arc around, because nobody wants to see my backside. 
So go ahead and put that leg inside of the well. We're taking our ribs down. We've got that big reach up and over. Grab hold of that top wrist. Give it that big stretch. And we'll take two breaths here. Remember to keep the toes reaching away in hot position. Feels so good. Stack everything back up. Place the head in the hands. We lift that left leg up here about hip height. Flexing the foot, send it forward. Send the leg back, point through the toes. So we're trying to find a little bit of hip extension as we send the thigh back in space. And again, we're really checking in with what's happening in the pelvis. We're making sure that we aren't starting to go into extension, into anterior, and vice versa in posterior as the leg goes forward. And I'm really thinking about using my quad to pull my leg forward, almost like I'm looking for a hamstring stretch as that leg goes forward. We'll stay in hip extension from here. You're gonna flex that foot, lower the leg down, and lift it back up for two, for three, and four, and five. Try to avoid turning out your leg here. Last four, last three. Ribs knit together in the front. Last one, we keep the leg lifted up. Little pulses here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, final two, and one. Woo. Again, shake it out. Bring your sit bones back up on top of that lip. Cross that ankle over thigh, and then we'll go for that stretch again. And again, you can sort of play with manipulating that thigh bone to keep the stretch pretty active, because we're gonna keep working. All right, guys. When you feel good here, go ahead and shake out your glute. And then we're gonna do our series of five one more time, but we're gonna change the rules here. So this time, you're gonna put your butt into the well. We're facing the back now. And again, find a comfy position for your pelvis to live in here. We're gonna grab hold of those legs, and this time we're gonna place our hands right above the hips, and the thighs are not allowed to cross past our hands. So that's my rule. We do our series of five. We stretch one out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Part two, arms go out, circle it back in. Out, circle it back in. You can do your stopper again. One more time. Woo! From here, straight leg, we switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Last time, arms reach forward, both legs lower, both legs lift. Woo! Last two here. Woo! One more time. Try and keep that chest open. Woo, very nice, guys. Shake it out. We're gonna take our lip off of the barrel at this point. So go ahead and pop it off. We're gonna do a little extension next. So we're gonna place the barrel down on the ground. We're gonna lower our chest onto the barrel at this point. And again, find a comfortable position. I'm actually taking my pelvis on the lower part of the barrel here so that it's gonna bring me slightly posterior because I wanna extend from my thoracic spine. Bring your elbows wide, fingertips to the forehead, start all the way down over that barrel. From here, we're gonna lift and extend. Again, trying to get thoracic spine to mobilize and then go ahead and lie back down. Big inhale, lengthen the spine, open the heart. And exhale, lie back down. Let's do two more, it feels so good. One more time here. Hold that extension. From here we rotate, look to the right, back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left, back to the center. Let's reverse it, let's inhale, rotate to the right. See if you can get longer with your spine. And then again to the left, big inhale, lengthen longer. And then go ahead and come all the way down over that arc. Come on off. We're gonna flip that arc upside down. So now we're gonna create an unstable uh, plank position here. You can always do this on your knees if you'd like and hold that plank position there. I'm gonna show it up in a plank. You've got your hands wide and we're gonna find our plank position. From there, we're gonna do a little rock from side to side. You're gonna rock to the right. You're gonna rock to the left. And I want you to focus on your hip bones staying even here. So we're just moving in the shoulders. Let's do two more. 
kind of fun, kind of wacky. Find an even place here. From there, we're gonna take our right knee, cross it to that left elbow, squeeze left knee to that right elbow. Again, right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Keep on switching, pick up the pace just a little bit. Last three, two, one. Woo! Come on down, shake it out. You guys, that was your arc session. Thank you so much, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.